Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC25 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 54 today. Hope you're all doing well. Let me get you into the squad because there's been a slight change in the team. Obviously, at the end of the last episode, we just did a hero SBC. So that player is now into the squad. I'll meet you there. So that player that we managed to get in the hero SBC was, in fact, Real Madrid legend Guti. Uh, Spanish. Centre mid slash cam, 86 overall, four star skill, three star weak foot, six foot one, 88 passing with incisive pass plus. It's kind of like the highlight of this card. Uh, great vision, great short passing, long passing. Dribbling's not too bad either. Uh, I don't think he's as good as the best midfielder in the game, aka Jack Taylor from Ipswich Town, but we're certainly willing to give him a go, probably in either some rivals or champs playoffs. Not quite sure yet, but if you enjoy the video, Hit the thumbs up, subscribe as well if you're new, cheers, and don't forget, follow me on socials, all the links are down below. Alright, so I'm not sure how many of these we got, One, two, three, four, five, six, six. just 6, uh, and then I was putting 81s in, so I, I figured I should probably stop. Uh, I didn't get much from these when I opened 5 the other day, so let's see if we can get a little bit more today. A little walkout would be very generous, that'd be nice. That is Alvarez from West Ham, isn't it? So I can skip, skip through that one, he's like 81. Come on, give us, a, give us a cheeky walk out. Right back, Argentine. Like, I don't know, the Atletico guy. Next up. Who is who is she? CDM, French. I don't know. But I'm going to guess 82. 82, Corboz, and a walk out. Just seeing those little lights at the end of the tunnel would kind of make my day right now, but it's not going to happen. Right mid. From Serie from Bologna. I don't even know. 81. Orsolini. Okay. Not the quickest. No walk out again. Right mid. Argentine. Liga Portugal. It's an 83. Di Maria. 78. Graven Birch. 83. Di Maria. And the final one is where we're actually going to get the good pack. Go on. Give it to me. Yes. A walk out. Let's go, Cam. United States. That is going to be. What is her name? Ravel? Lavel? Something like that? I think. Uh, Lavel. 87 rated. Just doing the sprinkler. Well, I'm happy we got a walkout. I can't really ask for much more than that. Uh, it's better than the last batch we did. An 85 and an 87 in one pack is actually very good. Yep, we'll take that. Right, knowing that I'll likely fail these, uh, I'm going to do my champs playoffs, play the five games, see if we can just get our weekend league sorted quickly. Uh, and if I do fail it, no big deal. I know I've got. I'm gonna have to play rivals as well for the next week anyway, so that'll get me my points back again. Uh, but let's go into attempt number one at our champs playoffs for the week. First up today, then it is gonna be Van Dijk and Varan. Yeah, yeah. Red ninety one Hansen, and that is the that's the different red card. That is the one that someone got forty wins. This guy's gonna be elite. This is, this is not great. This is an average at least ten wins per week player. I think. So he doesn't fit into Hey Jude, but I can put him into that new 100k one. Oh. I should have been focusing, knowing who I'm playing against here. Realising that he's got a Van Dyke and that I hadn't even moved the goalie out. Nice. <sighs> who knew? <clears throat> I did not want to match up against this guy first game. Well, what is that all about? We got one back. I get bet I don't see the ball again. Don't know how that's happened. I'm sure he's toying with me. Yeah, this is a kickoff glitch. Look at him. Not really sure what that's all about. I reckon they're still going to give me a loss? It should do. He quit? No, he didn't quit. He was busy on the ball there. Right? I don't quite get what happened there, but I'm sure we'll get a loss for it. I mean, the game was done, right? No? 
How odd. Did he quit? I don't really understand what happened there. So I've been asked that for one game, can I explain what I'm doing things, what I'm doing as I'm doing things. I'll do my best to do that. So first off, I'm looking, I'm taking a little look at what team my opponent's got. And as you can see, he's got a sick team. So I've got to be wary of that. So, uh, from kickoff, I'm glad that the poacher plus and all those visuals go away nice and quickly. I'm just going to try and find some space as I'm playing. Uh, just keep the ball for a minute or two, see what sort of defender he's going to be. Uh, he seems like, oh, I'm going to take a power shot plus here, try and get a corner. There we go. Either a corner or like a freak goal. Uh, I've played it quickly to Van Dyke there because I noticed he didn't bring his goalie out. But now we know he brings his goalie out as soon as the ball is played, which is quite a smart move. Um, so we'll bear that in mind for future corners. All right, a little bit of a counter-attack means that I can maybe thread a ball through. See, Toram's gone. We can get the header off here. Nah, no, not quite. So at this point, a third of the way through the game, I've realized that my opponent is probably slightly better than me. So I'm hoping to get a lucky goal more than anything and do my best to defend against someone that seems to be able to move quite well with the ball and presses me like mad. This is an easy goal. Wow, I've defended it again somehow. I'm seeing if Turam's in the box for a little cross. Oh, how has that not gone in? Oh my god, Mike Mignan. He's now through. He's going to get his first goal. Nice little chip shot. And we're 1-0 down. That's a purchased Rudy Vola, by the way. 45th minute. Obviously, you concede. I'm actually going to not put him on up front. I'm going to bring Traore on out wide. Try and pace boost my way past him. Past uh, Theo Hernandez. Nice one, keeper. Right, 2-0 loss against an absolute cracked out player. That's just better than me. Simple as that. It annoyed me. Yeah, fair play. Well done. Cool, yeah, that guy that was uh, playing the, the champs playoff games a minute ago did not seem very happy, did he? Um, I have to say, those two that I played, I know only one of the games counted, but they were so, so difficult. It was absolutely crazy. Um... I will get into the remaining games at the end of this episode, but you got me green screen lasty for the rest of it. Uh, I've I've noticed actually something that 75 plus packs or just the little packs that you know that you just randomly get here, there, and everywhere for little objectives. They are throwing out informs left, right, and center at me at, at, for me at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you guys are noticing a, a bit of a drop weight change in informs. Let me know actually if you are because maybe it's a thing. Before that, I could barely ever pack an inform. Um, so, yeah, anyway, they're, they're starting to arrive back in my club after I spent all of them uh, getting the Robbie Keane SBC done. Here's the 82 or 84 double or whatever it is, by the way, um, that we could s submit an SBC for. Uh, it's a little bit of a, an IQ test, which I failed because you have to put like three 84s and then an 83 rated team in to get two what could be just 84s. I do get a walkout. I get Chloe Kelly um, and an 84. So we actually get a Man City English right winger, a Man City English left winger uh, for the men's and the women's team. Now, uh, I also did complete the Team of the Week SBC because I had a little bit of spare fodder laying around and I thought, you know what, whilst we're on, on this roll of getting Team of the Weeks, I'm going to start building the club back up again uh, because there'll no doubt be some sort of SBC that I want to, you know, that I want to complete that has informs. I know that actually quite a lot of the stuff that's come out lately, that Italian trailblazer striker fella, uh, the two Italian... Um, showdown players i think a lot of that is like low rated squads but needs informs so again the more of those we can add back into the club the better um i've got all sorts of little packs and stuff going on before we even get to the uh t -t -t the remaining games of my champs playoffs will we bottle it well i mean if, if i was to ask you right now uh to have a guess with four games remaining will i get the three wins after the display that you witnessed earlier what do you think how do you think that's going to go for me? Uh, anyway, here is my RTTK Total Rush pack. I end up getting a Dutch striker from WSL. 
She plays for City. I believe she played for Arsenal last year. This is Medima, I believe is her name. Um, and she's 89 rated. I had no idea. I'll be honest. And I'm not going to lie. Could this card be a little bit of a dub? Now, the SBC itself is not very expensive. But she's got 86 pace, 88 shooting, 89 dribbling, and 84 physical. No play style plus. Four star, four star. I don't know who we would use to link her. I don't know how we would link her, actually. Um, maybe just having enough, like, maybe Man City players and the fact that I've got some good duchies, that might help. Uh, but, yeah, what do you think? Was that, I mean, that's certainly not the worst thing in the world. She's like 40K, which for me is a big dub in some of these packs. Now, I've decided to put Jack Clark through the Rapid Winger Mastery or whatever it's called. Um, essentially, literally just to get him up to, like, by plus 10 um stamina uh, because that makes this card just like infinitely better uh and it, i was i was doing stuff in uh in squad battles anyway so i thought oh, i might as well do that evo it's gonna it's gonna expire in a couple of days the only thing i don't like about what i just did there in that evo is that i've turned him from an 84 to an 85 so i wonder if he now won't fit into a few evos for a little while um but other than that that jack clark is in a good spot Highest stat being 89 pace. Um, the rest of the stats in a pretty good zone. Four star, four star, or four star, five star. I can't quite remember. Um, no play style pluses. No roll plus pluses. That is in a really good spot to turn into a monster at some point in time. Um, so the reason I was playing squad battles in the background was to get this Nuno Tavares uh, in and into the club. Um, I know I've got the DeMarco card, which I find to be better. L look at all these informs, by the way. They are just popping out all over the place. Um, and that is not a bad one. Now, I know as you're watching this, it's Thursday. There's a new team of the week out. I'm actually filming this at 20 past 5 on Wednesday evening. So, uh, yes, of course, the, the team of the week is still from the week before. We get one of the ones with the little star above their number. We get 86 rated Inigo Martinez, who actually looks kind of usable. Um, and he can go into the... Both of actually you can actually go to both of those team of the week evos, uh, the ones where you could either put power shot on him. I don't think that's worthwhile, uh, or uh, intercept. I think is the other one. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, but he will be good team of the week fodder. So Jack Clark is up to an 85 with 89 stamina now, or 87 stamina. Uh, basically, a lot better, a lot more usable um, than before. Uh, and I am still debating what to spend my last FC points on, on the Evos. Is there a new one? Did one come out last night as you're watching this? Uh, or is it going to be a bit of a quiet night in terms of content? And am I still waiting for a really, really good Evo to truly upgrade one of my Ipswich players? That would be awesome. Uh, obviously, we've done really well getting Jack Taylor to a great level. Actually, Jack Clark's at a really good level as well. Uh, and I can make both Amari Hutchinson or Harry Clark two evos that i've already worked on i can actually get them to a good level as well if i did that 1100 or 1000 fc point evo that i still i still got that that many fc points i've got 1400 left so um yeah i've, I've got decisions to make but uh, i'm almost keen to like wait on some free evos if i'm honest uh, to see if that can upgrade some of my players so back into champs playoffs then with my team um and Iwobi is in instead of Adama Traore. That's the only real difference. And I get a 4-0 rage quit in the first game against a squad which just did not look that great. I can't tell you how much of a different experience this was. Playing this on Wednesday afternoon, early evening. I've just finished playing them, basically. Uh, like 4pm, 5pm on a, on a Wednesday. I can't tell you how different the experience is in champions, in, you know, qualies, to playing like 3 p.m. the day before like the games we played earlier on when it was live lasty from the stream were so sweaty uh and, and and like really really difficult good players with great teams uh and then the the matches that i play here like i'm genuinely like be bewildered by the fact that the squads just don't look that amazing. This was the best player out of the lot that I played. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I find that a bit of a dodgy goal to concede. But luckily, we've got Virgil van Dijk, so he could just go and cheat code it up the other end. Uh, all i got to do is hit a random power shot, get myself a corner. Uh, I noticed that this guy was not a goalkeeper mover from corners, so that basically gives me a free goal, doesn't it? Um, and for anyone wondering, I'm, I'm in the Ipswich third shirt today. So uh, yeah, that's the... 
It's like the skyline of Framlingham Castle or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm, I'm in the Ipswich third shirt, the pink shirt. And then look at that for a squad. It's just nothing compared to what we normally come up against, right? So I have no idea what was going on, but I will certainly take it. I needed this as a little win because uh, I have to say, some of the Rivals games that I've played, some of the Champs games earlier on, it just felt like I was... Uh, I was in a in a bit of a rut, in a bad place. So uh, I, I kind of needed this, to, needed the game to give me a little win here. And uh, you know, obviously I had to go and score the goals, but they weren't too difficult to do, to be honest. Uh, I get two four nil rage quits, and then the the four two rage quit against the slightly better opponent. Um, so yeah, we're easily qualified for the weekend league, and that seems a little bit more like it now. I class myself as an average player. If I got 10 wins in the last weekend league, maybe that does put me at above average. I don't know what, what your definition of a, a good FC 25 gamer is. Um, but I feel like I shouldn't be like finding it super difficult to qualify for champs. And it all comes down to the day you play it, in my opinion. Which is really weird. Really, really odd. Uh, but anyway... We get our three wins, which is all you need to qualify, of course. Three out of five games... Uh, one will we'll unlock the weekend league for you. Uh, not much to write home about from the rewards. We do get a walkout from the rare goal pack. But as soon as I see Spanish goalie La Liga, I'm like racking my brains for who it is. And I'm thinking, well, it's not anyone super high rated. It's got to be an 86, right? Uh, and it is just that. It's Unai Simon. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was that was me done. I will sell him because 86 is with the... You know, with all the hero and SB, uh, hero SBCs, icon SBCs, whatever's been coming out lately, I think people are buying some fodder for a decent amount of coins. So I'll take that and we'll start rebuilding our coins up again so we can open another big pack or try a new player. But yeah, this squad performed really well. Um, if I was looking to get rid of a couple of players, it would probably be Iwobi and Turam up front. Uh, but I understand how they help with the chemistry for the team. So uh, I'm good to play them for a little while longer. My friends, I'll be back tomorrow for my Rivals Rewards with Division 4. But 35 points, upgraded Rivals Rewards. We'll see what we can get from that. Uh, if you've enjoyed today, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you got in your Total Rush slash RTTK pack. I'm curious to know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, subscribe as well if you're new. Follow me on socials. All of that good stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. I look forward to seeing you then. Peace.